Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. Law enforcement sources have revealed that the barrel intercepted at the port in St. James on Monday with 19 guns and hundreds of rounds of ammunition was intended for a woman with a Falmouth Trelawney address. According to law enforcement sources, the sender was listed as a man who resides in Coral Springs in Florida in the United States. Meanwhile, a Jamaican man faces the possibility of up to 40 years in prison in the U.S. and a massive fine after being charged with smuggling a kilogram of cocaine in coffee bags and picture frames. 37-year-old Perez Omar Gibbs this week appeared before a U.S. judge by video conference on one count of importation of a controlled substance and was remanded without bail. And the U.S. House of Representatives has voted to impeach outgoing President Donald Trump for a second time. It follows his comments that are believed to have incited protesters who last week stormed the Capitol over election affairs. Health Minister Dr. Christopher Tufton says the government will be seeking to obtain safe vaccines from China, India and Cuba to protect the Jamaican population from the virus. Jamaica intends to vaccinate 16% of the population this year. In sports, national striker Junior Flemings has signed with the Alabama-based Birmingham Legion in the United Soccer League. Flemings was released by Phoenix Rising after an incident last season where he was alleged to have used a Jamaican homophobic slur against Colin Martin, an openly gay San Diego loyal player. In euro currency trading, it was costing $144.48 for one US dollar, the British pound sterling for $198.62, and the Canadian dollar for $112.74. In your weather forecast, Thursday morning will be partly cloudy with isolated showers across eastern and south central parishes. In the afternoon, there will be isolated showers across central and western parishes. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.